Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my second bag of 2024, which is, as you saw from the thumbnail, a Chanel bag. So this actually, this piece is actually from the 24S collection and I have been waiting a bit impatiently for this piece to actually come into boutique. So I'll share a little bit more about that story and how I was worried I wasn't gonna get it and all those things, but let's open it up because I have not seen this bag or this fabrication in person yet. So let's unbox. All right, so as you can see, it came in a Chanel bag. It did get a little bent here uh, from being in the box. Just as an FYI, this was shipped from Nordstrom at the Mall of America, where they have an actual Chanel boutique. And if those of you who have followed me on Instagram, uh, you know, several times I recommended, his name is Nick at Nordy's, and he was the one who got me my Saint Laurent, my toy Lulu bag in the black, and anyway, Nick has been fantastic. I will say I was a little worried about this one because, like I said, I was just not really sure that I was gonna get this bag, even though I was told I was guaranteed. But anyway, all right, so there is some paper on the top there. Take that off and show you the box. All right, let's get into this. I'm, I cannot tell you how excited I am because like I said, I, have, oh, that was sort of off. Uh, I've been waiting and waiting. So let's see, the 24S collection dropped in March, is that right? So A dropped in June, usually they're two months apart, but I feel like this one was a little bit longer. I don't think it dropped in April because April was my birthday month and that would have been, I'm pretty sure that S launched in March. Correct me in the comments below if it is. But the point is, is that we're already, what, like two weeks or so into 24A, maybe even three weeks now? No, I think it's been, I think it's two weeks. And at the time I'm filming this, you guys, oh, hello, this is upside down. I, yeah, uh, you guys probably won't see this soon, but um, I want to get it unboxed because one, I want to look at it, make sure it's okay, and also because I just can't wait and, you know, I might use it. But anyway, Chanel ribbon off. And here is the box. Let me peek. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's not in its dust bag, so okay. So here is my Nordstrom receipt. And here is the dust bag. And here, okay, it's also wrapped. <laughs> Here is the Chanel booklet and let's see if there's a cleaning cloth in here. Yes, there's a cleaning cloth in there. Although I will give you a hint, this bag won't really need a cleaning cloth. So with that, pause the video, comment below. What do you think this bag is? All right, let's open it up. Oh my God. Oh, I hope that she is as beautiful as she looked in, uh, actually, you know, I can just take it out of here. Okay. As she looked in pictures. Okay, hang on. Let me put this box back in the bag. Okay, I can just slide her out. So, to reveal, my brand new from the 24S because the tag is still on collection. The multicolor tweed mini. Oh my gosh. Look 
at those colors. And there actually are sequins on this bag as well. Oh, this is absolutely, like they're every color in the rainbow. Like there is nothing that you cannot wear this bag with. I mean, a pattern probably, right? You wouldn't want to wear a pattern, but any solid color and I didn't, like it'll look amazing with what I'm wearing today. I will certainly do some mod shots, but oh my gosh, wow. Okay, so here we are. That is the tag. So these bags um, are just coming into boutique, although they started coming into boutique, I would say like a month or so ago, because I saw some posted on one of the Facebook groups I'm in that posts about like in boutique stock. And I saw some that boutiques were getting, I think actually while I was on my trip with my mom. So almost a month ago, like probably three weeks or so ago. And I had reached out to my to Nick at Nordstrom and I was like, hey, I see these are coming into boutiques, um, you know, and oh, and I had seen one posted uh, that Neiman's had gotten it. And so I told him, I'm like, hey, you know, I see that boutiques are getting them and I saw that Neiman's got theirs as well. So, you know, can you check for me? And he's like, yeah. He's like, usually we get like them a few days later though. And then I never heard from him. And I'm not gonna lie because of something else that happened. I was like a little concerned, even though he showed me the list. He showed me a picture of the list and that I was, you know, number two. So, but like I said, I was seeing them come in and I was like, I mean, I don't know because he sells everything in the store, right? I mean, he's not a Chanel sales associate. He's, you know, like a digital stylist or a digital sales associate. I don't know what their title is, but anyway. Um, and so I thought, well, I mean, I don't know, maybe if it came in and there was a customer there and the bags had come in, like, I don't know that they just don't sell them to somebody who walked in. I don't know. It just, I was getting really concerned because like I said, I, I just, I, I hadn't heard from him and I was seeing them coming in. And then I had there, I saw another person post like three days ago on the Facebook group, I'm just trying to get this strap undone, um, that another one had come into boutique. It had, I missed the post. It was like two days prior to when I saw it. And, you know, it was already spoken for, but I reached out to that person and just said, hey, you know, can you tell me where this was and I know it's sold but I'm just curious and I said you know I'm still waiting for mine I supposedly it was guaranteed one uh from Nordstrom and I haven't heard and anyway and she was like oh you know I'll definitely they're definitely still trickling in I'll keep my eye out for you kind of thing which was very very sweet okay I'm just checking over the chain which I will obviously do off of camera to make sure it's okay but right now it looks pretty good so here she is oh my god Oh, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Just the colors are just incredible. So anyway, so after I had that discussion with this woman on Facebook, I messaged him um, because I was also going to ask about some Dior stuff that was going on sale this week. And I was asking him about a t-shirt and about a jacket. And then I said, oh, and you know, by the way, can you double check on the multicolor tweed mini because you know I see that they're still kind of trickling in and like I said because of something that happened on a different bag which I will share in a future video I was like you know based on kind of what happened with this other bag you know, I don't want to miss this bag like this bag was like top 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 of my wish list of Chanel bags for this year and I was like you know if I need to get it someplace else I, I need to know that kind of. So sort of like, you know, if they accidentally sold it to somebody else and even though the list said it was supposed to go to me, like, can you just let me know that because I will go purchase it somewhere else. Now, I really didn't want to purchase this somewhere else because you guys, this bag was free. Okay, it wasn't really free. 
Um, I'll put it at the bottom here because I can't remember exactly how much of the gift cards that I had were gift cards that I purchased versus gift cards that were converted from what are called Nordstrom notes, which are essentially what they call gift cards. And they do have expiration dates on them, but just as a little pro tip here, you can buy gift cards with your Nordstrom notes. And then there is absolutely no expiration date. Although to be very honest, Nordstrom pretty much because of their customer service always honors the notes like even after they expire, but just to be on the safe side, people, do yourself you know, a favor and just buy gift cards with your Nordstrom notes and then you will never have to worry about it. So I actually, I didn't realize that I thought I was gonna have to pay like a couple hundred dollars because this bag went up from 4,700 um, you can't see it on here, but it went up from 4,700 to 4,900 when they had this recent price increase, which kind of irritated me because at the time I thought I had enough to cover the bag, but I would, you know, just probably have to pay the tax. And I had all the receipts for all of my gift cards. So all the things I had purchased except for one. So I knew I had, I guess like, yeah, it was like around 40 500, something like that in gift cards that I knew. And then I had one other gift card that I didn't know how much was on it. So anyway, as it turned out, that gift card had like almost a thousand dollars on it. So I actually still have money left to spend. How amazing is that? So yes, this bag was courtesy of Chanel or really courtesy of Nordstrom. But like I said, I'll put up here how much was actually free. I want to say it's pretty close to like 50%. So I guess if we want to be fair, I could maybe probably just say, I got this bag for 50% off. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you shop at a department store. As much as I love my standalone boutiques, it is so worth it, you guys, to buy from department store boutiques that have like rewards programs like Nordstrom or Neiman's or Bergdorf's or Bloomingdale's at Saks as well, because you guys know I had a ton of gift cards to use that were free based on things that I spent. And so then you just, like I said, you just keep, it just keeps rolling down the hill, right? It's a domino effect. So you buy the next thing. Yes, you saved money on it, but then you also made more money to use on the next purchase. So anyway, oh my God, it is just beautiful. Okay, let's look at the inside. There's still the sticker on that. I'll take that off in a little bit. There is some felt in here and then, oh, some like little, little side felt. There is the inside of the bag. As you can see, there's the chip and you know standard layout you got the slip pocket here and the zip pocket that works beautifully gotta love that sound okay oh my gosh is there anything no i didn't know sometimes there's like something stuck in the mona lisa pocket i'll show you the back too in case you want to see that but oh my gosh and obviously no feet but oh, I, I just it's so pretty and let me show it up and maybe I'll do some cutaways so you guys can really see the fabric, you know, the tweed and the different sequins because from far away, it just looks like a tweed bag. Like actually, I don't think I knew until it was up on the website that this had sequins. Like I thought it was just tweed. And then this was shown on the website. So when the, the collection launched, this mini was on the website. It also came in a medium classic flap and that bag like hit the boutiques probably week two, maybe week three of the collection dropping. But this mini was super, super late coming in, which is interesting because my black, so black mini also came in really, really late. I feel like they kind of do that with the minis. Like they, they make you wait for them. <laughs> Maybe because they would really prefer you to buy the classic flap at double the price. And so they think, oh, they'll just, you know, they'll just wear you down. And so you don't want to wait any longer and you're worried that it'll never come in. So you buy the, the medium classic flap for, you know, what is it now, $10,900 or some ridiculous amount of money. 
uh, as opposed to the 4,900. So anyway, that's just my, you know, I have no idea whether that's true, but it's an interesting, an interesting theory. You'll have to let me know. What do you think about that theory? Okay, here is the bag on me. Hits me perfectly for crossbody. It is literally sitting right at my hip bone. And, oh my gosh, it is just, oh, I can't believe I've gone from owning no tree bags to now owning two. I guess that's not true. I have, you guys have never even seen it. I do have a tweed 19 bag, um, but like minis and just, gosh, it's such a classic tweed. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's, she's just, she's so pretty. I had looked at one that was kind of similar to this last year, probably again from the same collection, I'm thinking. I don't think it was from A, uh, but it didn't have the sequins on it. So this one is even more special. The other one had like this kind of same multi-color. It had just like every color under the rainbow in it. And I don't know, for some reason, I just, I didn't buy it. Uh, and I'm so glad I waited because the, the sequins just make it that much more special. So Thank you very much to Nick at Nordstrom at Mall of America. I have linked him and, and recommended him, like I said, on my Instagram. So if you are looking for Chanel pieces or frankly, any other designer piece, I would highly recommend him. But yeah, I am gonna go now and check this over to make sure it is absolutely perfect, which at least thus far it looks, but uh, Oh gosh, so, so excited. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this second unboxing for 2024. I know I am very, very excited because these are two bags now that I've added to my collection that I just, like I said, dream, dream bags. So if you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and, uh, you know, it helps my channel out. So I appreciate that. And if you like this kind of content, I would love to see you back here. So click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload videos. If you have not had enough of me yet, there'll be another video right over here in the corner for you to watch. And wherever you are, I hope you are having an amazing day or evening and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.